Hello, welcome to Digitizer. I'm the host, Paul Gannon, and with me are my special guests, Larry Bundy Jr. Hello. and Mr. Biffo. Mm. Hi. That's how you do it. Okay. I, I could have done that <laughs> had Larry not started muttering over well, my... If you were professional enough, you would have just rode over it and maybe even asked for a retake, but, you know, rode whatever. over him in my truck is uh, if I was any kind of professional. We're going to have a little chat. Um, car's broken now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Look who I'm with. It's Larry. Wait, the... you can do that. <laughs> Leave my Vuvuzelas alone. All right, okay. There's only two Vuvuzelas. Oh, so we can uh, have fun and you can't. <laughs> well, I've got a sausage. <laughs> uh, well, you win. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, I'm here with Larry Bundy Jr. and Paul Gannon, both of whom you are uh, no doubt familiar with. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we're going to have a little chat about video games. And We are? <laughs> Such an interesting topic for Digitizer. Wow. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally five minutes and we've broken them. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. We're going to talk about games in uh, films and the cliches. You just ruined that. You just ruined that line. So we're looking into cliches in movies about video games. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for introducing it for me. No, it thank should you. be video game cliches in movies. Jesus, it doesn't matter. It's it, not... it doesn't matter now. This is just us warming up. Is it? Well, then give us your first. First cliche My of first video cliche games in movies one, is the one. I only have one. I can't think of any. It's going to be a short well, video. Uh, it really annoys me when you see someone playing a modern video game mm -hmm. in a film or TV show, and they've got one of these old school joysticks, and they're going well, upside down as well. Yeah. Okay. Again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Upside down. That was the point I was trying to oh, make. Okay. Uh, oh, that you don't. They never hold them properly. The How is, do you hold them properly? Show us now. Well, I, you can't with these. They're horrible. I'm so glad somebody invented joy pads. Yes, exactly. And then even then, when you get joy pads, everyone plays like my mother used to. I'll, ex I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Give us that PlayStation one. Oh, no, the what? PlayStation one. It's a difference. Yeah. This is how they do it in like most video game sequences of movies. They hold it here and they're like, Yes. Yeah. Which is how my mother used to well, play. All, all old people do it, yeah. It, yeah. The, the illusion of leaning makes your character move faster. I've got another one. They yeah. all always sit on the edge of the sofa. If I yeah. play games, I'm like sprawled out in as in a what? <laughs> in a spread eagle. <laughs> I think they say mankini. In a mankini. <laughs> what do you mean? What? I thought you were going to say a mankini. I thought you might have. Been, I was spread out on the couch wearing a mankini. Wearing my mankini. Which you must have. You come on, you must. I have. I did have one once. Yeah. What happened to it? <laughs> other it, than wear and tear. Know, did it I think, fall up? It, I, up I've got right? a feeling it came with a um, a copy of the Borat movie. Oh, it was like a special yeah. package. Oh, so yeah, okay. One. Not that I ever wore it. Fair enough. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, people sitting on the edge of the sofa. No one, no one plays games like that. They're sprawled out. Right, who else would like to say one? Uh, one's where they always talk about nonsense in games as well, like in The Wizard. They said, oh, look, you've got 40,000 points on, on the fourth, and he's only on the fourth oh, level. Oh, I'm not it's a level. Yeah, oh, hey, I'm just going to get to the next level. That, yeah, that, that one. Go. And there's um, Daryl. Uh, he was, uh, do you remember him playing for pole position? I mean, he's really, really good at uh, pole position. All they did was speed up the footage of his play. <laughs> <laughs> so he somehow was able to psychically yeah. make the game run faster. Like, he, he, mm. was, a, he was an action replay car in exactly, human form. Yeah. Possibly more fast than the processor in the machine can run, yeah. right? Mm. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Overclocking, but I'm glad I've never. Because the Wizard is famous for all of that kind of stuff. Have you never seen the Wizard? No. I know. Basically, I'm a ninety-minute advert for Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, literally. But basically, it's kids' version of Rain Man. Yeah, I've never heard it compared to Rain Man before. But now you bring it up. Is he autistic? He's an autistic kid who's really good at video games. Oh God, gotta be Mario. Gotta be Mario. Gotta be California. Gotta be California. This is what autistic people or artistic people sound like, is it? I'm doing an Dustin Hoffman impression. I'm not making fun specifically of the type of people. I'm doing Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. Gotta watch what bro. No, 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 no. You sound like, um, do you remember on the Muppets when they'd have those aliens and go, bar, 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 Also, I hate it in like, movies when they use tech which definitely doesn't exist. I hate like, it when people use the phrase tech, so there. All right, technology then. Thank you. Fascists. Oh, Term fascist. Like You'll be saying, ooh, I'm a, this, tech, this tech is addicting. No, <laughs> I lost my. You got such a twat. <laughs> God Almighty. That's in. All right, so that bit. Like, for instance, a great example is in The Wizard where he puts on the power glove, a notoriously sloppy piece of tech, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's making it and it works perfectly. perfectly yeah. He's driving and he's fighting and he's jumping by doing all that. Yeah, all right. 
<laughs> that know, I hate. You're like you're twanging on another. Well, that was just a big advert for it, wasn't it? And everybody got disappointed. Well, yeah, yeah. because uh, everyone thought playing the games in the future just involved using your hands, and they do. <laughs> weirdly, like, well, that's like a baby's but, toy. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, you still use your hands because you know you got thumbs. That's what uh, that's what um, in Back to the Future. That's what they were uh, basically saying that Games of the Future would all be like the Connect. Well, they got that wrong, didn't they? Yeah, no, no. nobody wants to hold their arms out for, for an hour and a half doing that. No, no. unless it's a zombie simulator, yeah. in which case you might you might want to do that. Mm. Uh, yeah, what else? Oh, video games in movies that don't exist and therefore are just pixelated f- film. Yes. So you know what I mean, like when they see a first-person first they, they shooter, put a pixel, pixel filter on it. Yeah. Um, oh, like Superman three. Yes. Yes. What happens in Superman three again? It's, it's a, a bit, the computer, yeah, the supercomputer. Yeah, but I just remember it turning that woman into a robot, and it made me cry. <laughs> Why did that make you cry? Because it's horrifying. She gets sucked into the machine, and then all the and it she turns into a robot. It's terrifying. Don't tell him about Cybermen. <laughs> No, I'm older now. <laughs> well, older now. I can deal with it now, but back then it was horrifying. Mm. To little old six-year-old me. You know what I used to find horrifying? Uh, oh, um... Uh, okay, that? you can preempt me. Oh, okay. No, no, tell no, no, no sorry. No. I was thinking of that uh, The Last Starfighter, that had video oh. game footage that doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was quite high-tech, though, wouldn't it? They Because uh, that was from space. CGI. Well, they oh, tried to make an arcade from space. machine. Yeah, well, they managed to get it's... CGI from space. No, no, I'm saying space it, it, it... CGI. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean that it was sent from space. The machine. So that's why it could be. A, that's why it could afford to look really yeah, good. So it was ahead of its time. <laughs> They're three years ahead of us in technology in yeah. space. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we're, always, we're always three years away from great technology. Uh, another thing. Yeah. Uh, VR, evil VR games in. In anything. Law Mower Man. Yeah, Law Mower Man, X Files did a terrible episode with a VR game. Murder She Wrote did a terrible VR oh, episode. Go. Yeah. Yeah, we're evil, evil VR. Oh, um, but Hackers. As well. Any anything oh, in hackers. hackers. Oh, I thought you were saying there's a film called there's Hackers. A, here's a film called Hackers. It's got uh what's his name? The one who's married to Brad Pitt. Johnny Lee Miller. Johnny Lee Miller and uh Oh that's right. The woman who played yeah. Lara Croft. Yeah. And yeah, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. And uh the, woman the guy who played, played the Indian, yeah, Indian gentleman in short circuit too. Yes, why Fisher, have, why Fisher Stevens. Fisher Stephen, yeah. gentleman. Because it was notorious for like him unnecessarily taking the role of an Indian actor. And doing a very horrible accent. Yeah, really was he Indian. Fake. No, that was oh, the point. Fisher Stevens, is it? Yeah, yeah. Like Duna, Apu. V- Vicious Stevens, is that shaking Stevens' brother? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Vicious <laughs> Stevens. Most like, it's his proud. brother. Why couldn't you be more like shaking? He just, <laughs> he just vibrates in the yeah, corner. It's his punk brother. Yeah, why do you have to go around stabbing people, Vicious? It's your his, nightmare. It's his punk brother. <laughs> Vicious Stevens and Shaky Stevens. That's a comic strip. <laughs> Up to no good. Yeah, what else do they do in video games that unnecessarily makes me angry? Who are you asking? I'm um, just God. <laughs> God. What is he saying? He's saying he, he hates, hates cheat, cheat codes in games. games. Oh, um, in movies. Oh, people, got one. people who always use um keyboards to do everything on a computer. Yes. Like, you need. Oh a, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a mouse in the in the movie world. You just type. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that does bug me. But they do that with hacking as well. And every single computer has uh, Apple noises. Yeah. And every single video game has Pac-Man, Atari noises. Yes. And you know what I also hate? It's not a cliche. It's just in one film, that bit in Jurassic Park where she goes, it's a Unix system. Oh, I, oh, and then she can hack it, apparently. Yeah. That is actually true. That is a proper system. Oh, no, I know. I have heard of I've Unix. I've got it. I've got it. It <laughs> just annoys me, the way she says it. Oh, she's an advert, isn't it? So, is it an advert? Basically, you that was it's like when I have like Coke pasting. cans and always like in the, the labels right. facing the camera. Was the uh, the brand we're getting a slightly off topic here? No, we're not. Was the brand of shaving foam that he put the yeah. dinosaur? Well, um, in? Was that yeah, Barbasol. Oh, wow. And if you hack into uh, the Jurassic Park systems, you do get a ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. What do you uh, mean, uh, if you uh, do that? If in real life you hack into Jurassic it's Park, not, it's not real, though, is yes, it, it was because <laughs> I've been to it at Universal. Where can you hack into it in Universal? No, I've been to Jurassic Park. It really exists. Yes, Universal. I've been there. They're... And it's a real place with real dinosaurs. Mm, and I'm going to hack into it and let the T-Rexes run free. I think you need to go back because them dinosaurs need an overhaul. In fact, they're getting one. They are. They are. Right, they're shut down. Let's, now it's time for theme park talk. <laughs> with with digitised. Digi theme parks. You don't the... get that in Thorpe Park, do you? What? Dinosaurs eating them. Public. No. Uh, uh, Ches- benefit. Chessington, um, people forget this, but Chessington World of Adventure, which yeah. used to be just called Chessington Zoo, uh, used to have a massive dinosaur section. 
Yeah. It was like a whole. It was like was it, <laughs> not a regular sized dinosaur. Just oh, it was huge. <laughs> like a massive dinosaur. <laughs> As I remember it, it was like you kind of. It was like in a huge sort of walled off area, like a fort. And, yeah. uh, I think well, you would do if they're dinosaurs, vo- though. You need a fort to yeah, yeah, yeah. train them. Yeah. Might have had a volcano in the middle. You well. don't need a bit of chicken. Volcano? Wine. As I remember, and I think you'd go under the volcano in a cave. Oh, is it one of those kind of lovely British effects where everything's like ugly paper mache yeah. looking? Yeah, chicken oh, wire. Yeah. In my yeah. head, it was awesome. Was it? Mm. How old were you at this How old? Time? Quite young. Yeah. 30. <laughs> 38. 38, yeah, yeah. Eight, 38. D- did a man in a dinosaur costume invite no. you to look at his cookies? <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not getting into no? whether I've been sexually abused <laughs> by a dinosaur. <laughs> well, now, now, there's got to be a pun in that, isn't there? Did you think you touched us? <laughs> God. <That's> not... <laughs> God. You took a really bad gag and then changed the actual punchline of the gag to make it work a horrible yeah, gag you were trying to make work. Oh, here we go. Fast forward. Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for a crash, though. A dinosaur themed crash. Come bring your kids to Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, have we covered all the cliches? I mean, probably not, but if you've got. Your own Leave that we've missed. Comments, hey. yes. That's what the comments are for, That's including we... point, pointing out the bad taste abuse jokes yeah. that we make. Yeah, we probably should we cut those. No, no, no. Larry, Larry said we're not meant to cut them. No, no we're all edge lords. I got. We're I... going to get some of that PewDiePie business. Yeah. I got one of my videos <laughs> being monetized the, the other day. And, Which one? And after a manual review, they still took the money off. Was it the Michael Jackson one? No, it's a Clive Sinclair one. One where he, I mentioned all his relationships. So what, who, 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 <laughs> who took it? It, so what, you can't monetize it because you stated facts? Apparently it has content that is not suitable for all advertisers. Oh. Because I'll probably fl- keep flashing up a picture of him with a, a lap dancer. That's, uh, <laughs> that's Joe Guest, that was. He's been a paid through girl. Oh, pe- Joe Guest. Do you remember Joe Guest? No, I remember Joe Guest because yeah, she did that does. battle... F- battle... Battlefield battleship. 3000. 3000. Yeah. Battle Cruiser 3000. Yeah. Was it a game? Yeah. Yeah, but it was quite famously there was an ad of her... With a um, copy of the game stuck between her legs. Yeah, but yeah. it Doing looked this. like but she was sat sat on a stool, uh, and it looked like you couldn't see the seat of the stool, so it basically looked like she was sat on a pole. She, she was straddling. She like. was straddling a. <laughs> <laughs> well, you we managed to bring it back round to video games. I mean, so that's barely, like but yeah. Battle Cruiser three thousand AD. Anyway, leave your comments below. Yeah. Subscribe. Ring a bell. Or don't. I or don't. don't we actually no. have long since stopped caring. Patreon. Yeah. Patreon things. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs>